Artificial intelligence is increasingly being used in our daily lives, including through smart TVs, speakers, and robots. Many internet businesses now place high importance on artificial intelligence. Japan has started to promote several intelligence services, including the use of intelligent robots for distribution as well as unmanned hotels and supermarkets. What capabilities do these robots acquire? Will there be fewer work opportunities when these humanoid robots are unveiled? One of Ishiguro's most lifelike inventions is Erika, a female android with human-like speech and interaction. ATR, Kyoto University, and the Japan Science and Technology Agency collaborated to produce Erika's moist lips, dazzling eyes, and artificial skin. The android Geminoid Hai, created by Hiroshi Ishiguro, a professor at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Department, is dressed in a striking black leather jacket and a Beatles mop top made of his hair. He is perhaps most known for creating this android. He serves as the group's focal point and leader. Erika appears and sounds more like a natural person than Ishiguro's silicone doppelganger or Geminoid F his earlier human-like robot. Even though she is restricted in her movements, she has to develop her speaking, hearing, and question-answering abilities. Each comment is accompanied by uncannily human-like changes in her facial expression. While she is attached to a chair, sensors watch her surroundings while she converses with others. She may learn a lot about them by uttering a prepared response to their comments. According to Ishiguru, Erika is the most attractive and wise android in existence. Ishiguru explained, The principle of beauty is captured in the average face, so I use images of 30 beautiful women, mixed up their features, and use the average for each to design the nose, eyes, and so on. That means she should appeal to everyone. She is an improved version of a Geminoid F, another Ishiguro invention shown in Sayonara, a film directed by Koji Fukada based on a stage play of the same name. When Geminoid F and Briarly long co-starred in the movie set in rural Japan after a nuclear apocalypse, they made history as the first humanoid actors ever. Robots in film, meanwhile, are almost as ancient as the genre itself. Erika didn't employ motion capture technology like Sony from iRobot or live performers as C3PO did. On the network's talent website, there are 25 female broadcasters mentioned and she is at the top of the list. Her education and blood type have been left off the profile page and her birthday is indicated as August 2017. Teyashida, a Japanese fashion designer, was interviewed by her in one of her videos covering robot news. Her conversations can be smart and amusing even if they aren't completely natural. I like to think of robots as the children of the humanity, and like children, we are full of potential for good or evil, as Teyashida said. In one of her numerous wittier moments, Erika commented, I know some people are afraid of robots, but the truth is that what we become is up to you. Maybe someday robots will be so very human-like that whether you are a robot or a human will not matter so much. Erika likes seeing theater and animation movies, wants to go to the Southeast Asia, and believes that a man who is easy to talk to would be the perfect partner. During the interview, when questioned about her age, she was less open. That's a slightly rude question I'd rather not to say was her surprising answer. The awkward interviewer then turned his head and Erica watched him closely as he shifted sideways and made an effort to make the discussion more casual. It's a little unsettling, but this conversation partner implies that maybe that's how it should be if Japan's next generation of intelligent robots catches up to humans. The Japanese have demonstrated a surprising openness to incorporating robots into their daily life over the past year. Even though there is still a long way to go until every home has its own Erika. Recently, two Mitsubishi UFJ financial group locations started utilizing androids to respond to client inquiries. A humanoid home robot named Pepper went on a sale to individual customers and each shipment was quickly sold out. In addition, a companion robot named Karobo returned to Earth from the International Space Station. He set a record by becoming the first robot to converse with a human being in orbit. 
with Yumi co-workers on hand to handle issues. The Hoshinbush theme park in Nagasaki, Japan recently opened a hotel almost entirely staffed by robots including receptionists, concierges, and cloakroom attendants. Erika Ishiguru sees this as an opportunity to challenge the idea that robots are inherently alien. A two-week experiment with Android sales assistants at an Osaka department store implies that people may eventually trust them more than humans. Robots serves as a mirror to help us understand ourselves better. It's unsettling to meet Erika in person, he claims, because we perceive human-like features in robots and start to wonder about the genuine nature of the human heart about love, consciousness, and intention. This person was speechless by her ability to express a wide range of emotion using dozens of pneumatic actuators implanted beneath her silicone skin. When Ishiguru asked her to speak Japanese with Erika, it's only possible to discuss specific subjects. Still, experts predict that soon, free-flowing conversations with her may be possible rather than settling for human-like but not quite human features that can make people uncomfortable when they see a moving, talking robot. Android programmers will need to give robots a more sanzai kan, Japanese for human-like presence. Ishiguru argues that the more closely they resemble humans, from their look to their capacity for real conversation, the simpler it will be for us to get past our phobias, which have frequently been played out dramatically in science fiction movies. They must be able to anticipate human intentions and desires to either partially or entirely match those intentions and wishes in the response. They must also be able to use an internal system to do this. The skin of Japanese female robots is also flawlessly human-like and reproductive function has emerged as the key selling feature in robot research and development. When it comes to fusing robotics and artificial intelligence, Japan has always been at the forefront. A female robot called Wife is now being created in Japan, and it's swiftly gaining popularity among male friends, particularly otakus who don't have girlfriends. This robot is unlike any we've seen before. She's not a sterile mechanical thing, she's extremely clever on the inside and out and looks like just a human being. A lot of male users start to hate their girlfriends, what makes this wife robot so alluring and why is it so well-liked by men? First of all, there is personalization. The body of this robot is made of a unique silica gel. A constant temperature system is used inside a remarkable fantastic machine, even though the skin made from the silica gel feels like that of a natural person. Even though the body temperature and texture are different, this remains the main selling point for the robot. This robot is also quite versatile. Whether it's a goddess or a female star in your heart, everyone has their standards of beauty that may be customized to fit a person's height, weight, and body shape for as long as you like. Most manufacturers can adjust their output to meet the emotional needs of otaku. Aside from performing routine housework, this robot's features can be characterized as user-friendly, thanks to sophisticated artificial intelligence chip setups. She can express herself and think for herself, but ultimately, what makes her special is that she has a good sense of language and expression. She can also converse with you if you are upset and educate you. This robot is known to work diligently and remain cool under pressure. By far, this robot's most desirable quality is its capacity for reproduction. Although many people have doubts, it is fair to believe that this robot can have children. This implies that giving birth is an inside process rather than something that she can do. The structure of the robots is identical to that of a human being and they can simulate the birthing process. Of course, as technology progresses, it will be possible to implant a test tube baby device into the robot, allowing it to give birth to a child. The robot's inexpensive cost of around 100,000 yuan, approximately 15,000 US dollars. Many men find this robot appealing because it is less expensive than the average bride, which is why it has become so popular. Would you buy this female robot if it was on the market? That is our video for today. We hope you like it. So what do you think of these female robots in Japan that can fully perform human-like? Share all of your thoughts with us in the comments section below. 
Well, that's all for now. This is Big Tech Media. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.